Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for clicking on another video and another episode of Tea Day. Today, as you can see by the title of this video, we are going to be talking about a topic which, I don't know, it's one of those ones where it's like, it's either going to be a really great video or like a really, really lame one. <laughs> Um, however, I'm confident the reason I'm doing it is because, well, I really hope, anyway, I pray, Lord, God, please let me to say this in a way that really blesses the people watching it. Jesus name, amen. I pray that this blesses you and helps you to genuinely love yourself because if I can, in this video, help you to love yourself more, that's freaking huge and I'll be so, so happy. I'm only gonna share one tip in this video, one practical way that I learned to love myself like for real. There's a load of different videos you could watch on this, books you can read, self-help books and stuff, but you know me, I'm like, I was gonna say I'm simple, maybe that's not, maybe that's not the best way of saying it, but I like stuff to be simple and practical and easy to actually live out. Please join me for the whole of this video and let's make this an engaging dialogue. I was watching that Jay-Z interview the other day, um, I talked about it on my Instagram story and he kept using the word dialogue and I was like, I need to use that word more, it sounds super smart. So yeah, I wanna open up some dialogue. Dialogue, ooh, dialogue. <laughs> I wanna open up some dialogue. So yeah, definitely leave me comments letting me know what you think and let's just have a chat about loving ourselves. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna pour a cuppa because uh, you know me, guys. So loving yourself has been quite a big topic over the ages, you know, we needed a song about it, great song, learning to love yourself, it is the greatest love. Oh my gosh, I've forgotten a teaspoon again, I actually can't, that's ridiculous, if I, I'm gonna go grab a teaspoon. I will be right back, you guys. The day that I remember a teaspoon at the start of this video is the day that I've conquered life. Um, anyway, as I was saying, loving ourselves is it's like a theme that comes up a lot. In our day and age, there's so much stuff that makes us not love ourselves. Like, we live in a really unique time, a really awesome time, but also really unique and challenging in that there is so much, like, constantly coming at us. It can be hard to love yourself. Maybe I should say like yourself, because sometimes when you say love yourself, it sounds a bit eerie fairy but to actually like you and who you are and treat yourself well is what I mean when I say to love yourself. I really wanted to start with this video because I feel like we can chase a load of goals, we can try and do a load of things um, and achieve a lot, chase our news resolutions. But there is this Bible verse which says, you know, even if I achieve a load of different things, it's a long verse, but I'll like put in the text somewhere, but it basically says, no matter how much good I do, if I don't do it in love, then it's like, it's nothing. It doesn't mean anything. It's like the brash clanging of symbols, it's empty. So we can chase our goals, we can try and change our bodies, we can become beautiful, hella hot, hella fine. Um, but if we don't love ourselves, like, I mean, it's deep, man, but there's no point. There's no point if you do it. If you get the world's best abs and you don't love yourself, no one cares, the abs mean nothing. Um, so I really wanted to start off the Tea Day series with just like talking about loving ourselves genuinely and truly because it's life changing, legit life changing. Honestly, you guys, probably my biggest talent, making cups of tea. Shout out to my Nigerian parents who had me on the tea rota from a very young age. I love you guys. Anyway, so yeah, loving yourself is really important, but then it's also quite controversial because people can use it in a negative way, like, oh my gosh, that person is so in love with themselves, and it can be used to describe someone who's like obsessed with themselves. Now, as you know, I'm a Christian. In the Bible, there's a verse which says that we should love others as we love ourselves. Essentially saying, we are supposed to love ourselves. If we were supposed to hate ourselves, I don't think God would have told us to love others the way we love ourselves, because then we'd just be hating everyone else. So we're supposed to love ourselves, and I think it's good and important to. And actually, I think there's so much in that verse in that it tells us that the way that we love ourselves is the way we're gonna love other people. So if you don't know how to love yourself, how are you gonna love other people? If I don't know how to treat myself well, how am I gonna treat other people well? I think we can all agree that like loving yourself is really important. I've seen in my life, I mean, I'm only 24, but in my life, I've already seen that people who truly love themselves, you can tell, and they are like a well of happiness that other people can draw from. They are stable and they have this like stable foundation, which you can often just see from a mile away and they can glow from that. 
have this theory that there are two kinds of people in life, wells and buckets. <laughs> this is a whole other, you know, theory for another video. But basically you can be like a well that people draw from or you can be a bucket that draws from other people. Um, and I think that one of the keys to being a well, someone who is constantly, someone who gives off good vibes, I'm going to shorten it too, but someone who encourages others and gives to others. One of the key principles of being a well in this life, a well kind of person, is um, to love yourself. And the way that I have learnt, I was going to say the number one way, but it's not the number one way I've learnt to love myself. The number one way I've learnt to love myself is through God's love for me and the way that God loves me has changed my life and that's why I'm a Christian. Oh gosh, I should do a video on that, shouldn't I? I need to do a video on that, note to self, that's like the main way that I know how to love myself. Okay, aside from that, the main way I have learned to love myself is by this. Oh, guys, get your notepads out because this is good. This is like self-help book for real. If someone else has already thought of this, I was not aware, so it still counts as an original thing. But yeah, <laughs> the way that I learned to love myself, independent of anything else, whatever the situation, is to treat myself how I would treat my own future daughter. I think that the best way to describe this and to explain this is to just use practical examples. So, you know, we're ready to spill the tea, we're going there. Boys, okay, let's talk about boys. <laughs> um, so say if I'm chatting to a guy or if I liked a guy and he like wasn't texting me back properly and we've all been there, we've had friends who've been there, like some guy just being flaky and um, you really like them so you really wanna talk to them. What I've learned to do, instead of like sitting there and kind of convincing myself like, oh, maybe I should not lift so much so we won't be intimidated, it'll be a bit more ditzy, maybe I should be a little less me, maybe I should change myself. Instead of convincing myself that I'm not enough and that I need to change, the way that I try and love myself is I ask myself, if this guy was exhibiting this behaviour towards my daughter, what would I tell her? So, for example, if a guy is like, I don't know, I'm just using this as, a, as an example because I think um, this is just a practical situation that you have every day and you're conflicted with how to love yourself within that situation. So, if if my daughter was texting some guy and he was like not texting her back properly and he was like dating other girls or he was just being flaky, what, what would I tell my daughter? Would I tell her, oh, maybe you should lose three pounds? Nah, fam. Would I tell her, mm, you are a bit like overly smart, maybe dumb yourself down? Nah, you're a genius, you're a queen, you got my, you got, she got my brains. She, she's not about to dumb herself down. I would tell my beautiful future daughter, I would say to her, who, who is this? Who is this man of them? Man them fam, what's his name? What's his name? He, he's got like numbers in his name. Who is this chap who is not texting you back? And why are you stressing about it? Do not change yourself to fit him. You are queen, daughter, future daughter. You're a queen. You look beautiful exactly the way that you are. Your figure is amazing. You are gorgeous. Don't change for this guy. If he can't see your royalty, if he can't see how amazing you are, like, next. Next. N-E-X-T. Next. Is what I would say to my daughter. So in that moment, then, when I'm tempted to be like, "Oh, I want this guy to like me. Maybe I should like be different, change myself, or like maybe I'm feeling down about myself. Like, why doesn't he like me?" I start talking to myself as though I were my own daughter. I'm like, "Not. Do you know what? Some people, some people are a bit blind and they're not going to like you. Some people are a bit confused. You know, that's just life. You can be the juiciest peach in the world, as they say, and someone won't like peaches." Um, and so that's how I handle the situation. No matter how much I want to like put myself down and um, and like stress about a, about a boy. And you know, I don't do this perfectly, but that's what I try to do <laughs> in case any of you are like, mm, Sarah, didn't you one time say that, you know, let's, let's not think about this too deeply. This is what I aim to do and what I do do most of the time. Yeah, I don't put myself down when someone else rejects me. I build myself up like I would do to my future daughter. Another example of doing this practically of loving yourself is when it comes to the way you speak about yourself. One thing that you will very rarely, if not ever, hear me do or hear me say is something um bad about myself as weird as that sounds if you think about it i'm trying to think if i've ever said something bad about myself on this channel um but very rarely will i call myself stupid or dumb or um ugly um i don't say nasty things about myself 
and if you think about it that's not normal we are trained we are raised as women my mum didn't teach me to do this by the way i just learned it from like going to school and interacting and being in this world i learned from a very young age to put myself down to constantly put myself down you know someone will give you a compliment and say oh my gosh you look really nice and you're like oh no oh yeah like no i look so fat we really accept compliments because if we do it's as though we're cocky or we're proud um and we constantly feel this need to talk down about ourselves to say that we're ugly or we're fat or we're or we're dumb or we're useless and i ask myself would i say this to my daughter would you would you call your daughter fat or ugly or stupid or tell her she looked rubbish in an outfit no you wouldn't so why are you saying it to yourself? Why? Why? Some of us, it's just out of habit, but it's a habit that we really need to step back and look at. If I came up to you and said, mm, you're ugly, you'd be like, who does this woman think she is? Sarah, like, you know, dislike, like, what, what? How can you say that to me? You don't know me. That's really rude of you to say. And yet you'll look in the mirror at yourself and say the same words to yourself. Well, here I am saying, that's really rude. It is really rude of you to call yourself ugly, to call yourself fat, to put yourself down. That's bad manners. And the crazy thing is that if I were to say something mean to you, you can just be like, any ex teen next, bye Sarah, not your friend anymore. And you can separate yourself from me. You don't have to spend any more time with me. You can just be like, bye, bye Felicia. I thought your name was Sarah Sienna. Turns out it's Felicia, bye. You can do that. Whereas you can't do that with yourself. You can't leave yourself. <laughs> As, as bizarre and terrifying a concept that is, I can't get away from myself. I'm stuck with me. <laughs> if you ever feel sorry for yourself, just think of the fact that I am stuck with me for my whole life. <laughs> just kidding. But yeah, they, and can you imagine what it would be like to be friends with someone who constantly said mean things about you and brought you down? You would be really, really unhappy. But then we constantly say mean things about ourselves, constantly put ourselves down, and we wonder why we're not happy. Stop stop being mean about yourself you're allowed to say like i challenge you actually next time you look in the mirror say it out loud as crazy as you might sound to yourself that you are beautiful just say it like why can't you say that you'd say it to your own daughter you're gonna pass down your lips to your future daughter maybe maybe your husband or maybe she'll say your husband jeans but there's like a 50 50 chance that she's gonna get some of your facial features when you insult yourself you're insulting her when you insult yourself, you're insulting your mother, your sister, your brother. That's not okay. So I challenge you to like stop doing it. And it's something that I've stopped doing. Like I don't, I don't say mean things about myself. Um, I just don't complain about my features because that's really rude. I inherited them from my parents. I'll pass them on to my daughter. And I want to love myself so well that my future daughter, when someone ever tempts her, tempts her to not love herself, she'll be like, mm, yeah, but I look like my mum and my mum loves herself, and my mum is hot fire. She'll believe I'm hot fire because I will believe I'm hot fire, and then she'll believe she's hot fire because she looks like me. Do you know what I mean? I know that sounds crazy, but I challenge you to just stop being mean to yourself. I think one of the reasons why we find it so easy to be mean to other people is because we've been mean to ourselves our whole lives. So when we see someone walking down the street, you know, maybe their top is too small and bits are hanging out here and there. Instead of looking at that person and thinking something positive, we look at them and we judge them and we think something negative because actually we've been looking in the mirror, seeing our ourselves in the same situation and instead of bringing out the positive bringing out the negative so the more that we practice to look at ourselves and say the positive thing the more we'll do that for other people so yeah I don't say mean things about myself and I challenge you not to either like the next time that um someone compliments you say thank you take that compliment and hold it hold that joy because you will reflect that joy as you go around you don't have to be constantly being mean about yourself another way in which I learn to love myself which I've covered a bit on the last one, um, is, is to love my looks. It's the fact that if I had a child that looked exactly like me as a child, I would, I would be like, wow, she's beautiful. And that sounds so cocky, doesn't it? But I remember seeing a photo of me when I was like 10, 11. Oh, mate, nah, I was not. Do you know what? I was like, I say I don't say bad things about myself, but from the worldly perspective, I was a bit leave it. The stuff I wore, it was absolutely leave it. Um, and I remember saying to my mum, like, how did you even like us? We must have been so annoying and we were just so gross. My mum was like, you're beautiful. You were beautiful. And I was like, 
she's so right like if I was my child I would I of course I would love me of course I'd think I was beautiful I'd be like oh my gosh look at her this look at her that I've had a few questions about how I deal with like body image and body positivity and that's a whole nother video that I'd need to talk about but part of it is that I realized that I would be capable of loving my body if it was my daughter inside of this body what you know what I mean if if I was my daughter I would know how to love me so it's not actually my body it's the fact that I'm putting myself down and and I don't I don't do that I really try not to do that if I say mean things about myself I'm saying mean things about her because she'll probably get a lot of my features by God's grace assuming I have a daughter in the future and the last point I'm gonna make I'm gonna try and keep this video short and snappy because I want you guys to actually watch this and listen to it the whole way through I know what it's like to be watching a video and be like oh man she's talking a lot bye Felicia I don't want you to call me Felicia today I want to be Sarah Sienna and please stay with me throughout the whole video so you can say on the one hand I love my body I'm super cute I am beautiful I don't speak nastily about myself that guy was wrong I'm fine the way I am and then on the other hand maybe your doctor says to you you're overweight you need to lose weight and it's like so what is it am I, am I beautiful or do I need to change do you see what I mean and the way that I balance this is that I remind myself that actually if my daughter woke up one day and said that she wanted sweets for breakfast I would say no she was like oh mommy please 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 I just really want like chocolate cake for breakfast I'll be like no I don't want you having dental cavities that's bad for you and I would be able to detach her instant wants and her feelings towards me in that moment maybe she'd be mad about at me and I'd be like yeah no I know that you're annoyed at me for this but in the long run it'll be okay you might feel bad during this moment of discipline but in the long run you're gonna have more self-control and you'll be healthy and you'll thank me for it do you kind of get what I mean uh, another example is if my daughter wakes up and she's like oh my gosh mum, I don't want to go to school today I'll just be like oh yeah yeah you, yeah you're going <laughs> So then when it comes to applying that to my life, when I would come to a rise up from my exams and I really didn't want to, I had to love myself enough to discipline myself. Um, I think there's actually a verse in the Bible about that too. The, oh, it's actually, it says the Lord disciplines those that he loves. And like a parent who loves a child will discipline their child because they'll know the consequences of no discipline. I tried to do that to myself. So when I was overweight, I was, I did become overweight, I could still look at my body and say, Sarah, you're beautiful, you're beautiful just the way you are, I love you, I'm not going to call you fat, I'm not going to call you ugly in the mirror. However, I could also say, I love you, and that bad food is not good for you, so we're going to eat healthily. I love you, and exercise is good for you, so you're going to exercise even though it's tiring. I love you enough to put up with the temporary dislike that you're gonna give me when I make you do another rap. This is all getting very confusing because I'm talking as I'm talking to myself while I'm talking to you guys, but you know what I mean. Um, love yourself enough to discipline yourself. Love yourself enough to change yourself for the better. I love me, so I'm going to revise. I'm going to allow myself to see my potential. That is how I balance it in my head of, you know what? Yeah, this doesn't feel good, but I'm not gonna quit because I love myself. I'm gonna carry on because I love myself, if you kind of get what I mean. And you can apply this principle to so much the values that I would set for my future daughter and just apply those to me. I think it can be really easy to see yourself through a different filter and in that respect, not treat yourself well. I think that a lot of confidence and a lot of self-assurance of who you are and setting your own standards can come from knowing how to genuinely love yourself. And I don't mean posting loads of selfies, like it's crazy. Like, Sometimes the people who post the most selfies and are the most vain actually don't love themselves the most. And that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed having a cuppa with me. Thank you so much. And um, I really hope that you found this video helpful. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you think and ways in which you can love yourself or tips which you have for loving yourself better.